Welcome to 28th of May's Godly Blessing. With divine intellect, one can attain divine success. And that's what God is trying to say. When your intellect is divine, that means you're able to see things through the mirror of divinity and not see things through as they are dirty. Then you're able to find success in even the worst of the situations. So God here says in his blessing that may you attain divine success with a divine intellect as an embodiment of success. Now that divine intellect is given by Supreme Creator Himself cannot be bestowed upon us by anybody else. It's a way of looking at things not through these physical eyes but through the inner eye of wisdom that means the third eye of wisdom that means soul consciousness. Seeing everything as a soul and looking at everybody as a soul. Use your divine intellect in the right way according to the time. As the time is, as the situation is, we should use our mind in a divine way. And you will have total success on the palms of your hands. Success is not a big thing, that's what God says, but just the cleanliness of a divine intellect. As divine, you can see things through. That means you have a choice to see darkness in a situation and you have a choice of seeing light in a situation. You can see the worst character of a person in any situation and blame and complain about them or you can see the best side of this problem. That means in this problem there is a leap which I can get. That means I can go leaps and bound because of this issue. Because this problem is the solution actually. That only can happen when we have a divine intellect. Just as musicians now show the cleanliness, that means dexterity of their hands. They can hide anything, they can bring out anything of the hands. So the cleanliness of a divine intellect brings total success on the palms of your hand that suddenly out of nowhere you'll find a solution which other people are not able to look at because they are focused on whom to blame, how this came upon and why it's so bad. Whereas a divine intellect will say, how is this going to help me out? You Brahmin souls have attained total divine success and this is why even today devotees go in front of your non-living idols to attain success. You must be knowing people who actually get up in the morning and they do tap, jap and they try to get divine powers from the deities and they are able to do that because they believe that the deities had such powers and when we meditate we get those divine powers and those idols are a remembrance of how we got our divine powers and that's what we learn in Brahma Kumari is to know more about these details and how divinities attached to those idols and how we can also attain those divine powers is what you learn in Brahma Kumaris for your own success. Om Shanti with this.